Welcome to the MLB algorithm for Thursday, April 28th. That's right, we're talking baseball. A lot of day games today, a lot of action. If you're going to be betting or watching sports during the day, baseball is what is on the slate today. So let's talk about the games. Uh, a lot of lineups are in. Done a lot of work on the file. I did some work here updating the uh, contribution scores for players based on their name and their team. So it works better with their abbreviated names now and we don't have too many problems. As I did that and I looked through all the lineups, I noticed a couple things for today. One is Ronald Acuna makes a, uh, a run off of the IR unexpectedly. He's batting in the one spot. That's why there's nobody here. He's a good player, so that, that's very interesting. So don't think that that's a nobody, and we should really inflate Atlanta a little bit because uh, they do have uh, Acuna playing today. So we'll talk about that. Now, if we look at just all of the games based on 2022 pitching stats right here, current year pitching stats, this is what you get. You get this order. Uh, you get uh, an even money San Diego over Cincinnati. Fascinating right there as the number one pick of the day. They've been running over Cincinnati. Everybody's been running over Cincinnati. Then you have Houston, Texas, over Texas, Toronto, Miami, Colorado, an underdog line here, St. Louis, Yankees, Minnesota, Atlanta. Your margins above 10% are these games here, all the way down to St. Louis. But that's just 20 22 stats, you can do 2021 stats to see who else is still on this list for a few of these teams, but not for every single pitcher. Some of these have to be 2022 because they don't have 2021 stats for some reason. And when you do that and refresh, can see that pretty much almost everything in yellow stays on here. It's only the Philadelphia Colorado game that gets flipped. So what that tells me is that we saw Colorado at that underdog line before up there. That's kind of scary. So you want to stay away from that. And here you have Milwaukee moving up to the top here. Now the question is, there's an optimal distribution of kind of mixing these stats around and using 2021 for certain situations like Patrick Corbin's got a crazy ERA this year. So does Trevor Rogers too. Last year, these pitchers probably, yeah, were not, you know, Patrick Corbin still wasn't great, but Trevor Rogers was better. So you might want to adjust to something like this, which might be more reasonable. Uh, there's some crazy ERAs here for Freddie Peralta. Yeah, he's a much better pitcher last year, and Quintana, Quintana was worse last year. So if you mix it up, probably this is actually a better projection because Quintana probably will pitch uh, like he's pitching this year. Freddie Peralta will probably pitch better than he did to start so far. Um, anything else weird? Like a zero ERA here for Jason Beeks. Might want to change that to 2021, but we can't. He's a new pitcher, so that's interesting. So he had a very good start or two. Um, really low whip and no ERA. So that, that's kind of interesting there. Here's a really high ERA for Zach Wheeler, who's not pitching well at all this year. How about last year? Much better pitcher last year. So this game can kind of flip around. Yeah, that's why this game flips around so much. So be careful in this Colorado-Philadelphia game. Don't know what's going to happen there. Wheeler could get hit hard, and it could go to Colorado, or it could be the other way around. Um, Anything else? Here's a crazy ERA for Reed Detmers. I don't know if he has 2021. Yet. Uh, he does. Bad last year, too. Okay. So Cleveland's a, probably a pretty good pick here. Yep, in both scenarios. So getting something like this now. San Diego, Houston, Milwaukee, Toronto. That San Diego pick looks really juicy up there, right? It doesn't want to move. What happens in the in the 2020? This is the early game too. What happens in? You can't do it. Nick Martinez only 2022 stats. So a high scoring game that San Diego wins. I don't know what the wind is in Cincinnati. We should look that up. If it's blowing out, man, you should really expect runs in that game. So that's the baseball update, guys. Um, we'll continue doing work on this couple more days if you want to buy a copy before the end of april here go for it and then you can start updating yourself and tracking this every day and having fun so good luck may all your picks be winning